Thanks for staying with us. We're going to now start with the nation. Sinumbu world leaders UN, AU, EU reject Gabon junta. President mourns as national flag designer Taiwo Akimumi dies at 87. Obaseki free to fix federal roads in Edo, says minister. Fashion Rati displeased with Adebanjo over Afeni Ferry. Mm. Oshun APC expels three ex Aregwe Shola's men, 81 others. Wiki, I will deliver Abuja Metro Line next year. And protest in Undo, Cross River over NDDC board says, um, yeah. Okay, which story? Okay, there's one more I think I missed. NSIA stakeholders partner on improved cancer treatment. Hmm. Okay, which story are we starting yeah, with? Yeah, Obaseki. Okay, go ahead, please. Um, the governor, the minister, the ex governor of um, um, Ebonyi State, uh, David Dumahi, has said that Obaseki is free to fix any federal government road that is preventing Edo people from enjoying their life. That they don't say it's because of. Uh, federal government that all he needs to do send a whatsapp message i use his friend it's his friend uh, obasaki is his friend and he, he respects him a lot that all he needs to do is just send him a letter a whatsapp message <laughs> he will give him the permission in two hours <laughs> fix any road <clears throat> that you want that even if it's federal road, that what federal and government and the state we have the same people are comfortable uh, that we have the same uh, oh, that they he's exactly. going to go and visit the mm. <laughs> it's not the <laughs> and CNA is not that's getting refunded for the four trucks that she puts no. there. That's not how it works, and we know. And we've heard the federal government say many times that they want to even stop that, where um, governors would say they have done rules and they need to refund uh, mm. their money yes. refund. It, just to send a WhatsApp message, we know it does not work like that mm. in government. So yeah. they stop no, it. But they are said but that they are friends fair. and uh, colleagues. Just, uh, okay, they stopped the refunding thing because of the, there's always issue with the pricing, and I agree. Mm -hmm. your, if it is in your state, even if it's a federal and one, it's going to make them too easy. Um, fix it for okay. them. We're not discussing it. Let's move on yeah. to another subject. I just uh, sorry. To put it that way. <laughs> yes, I have the major headline. Okay. So, as we're aware, there was a, another coup cool hmm. in Gabon yeah. yesterday, yeah. and the uh, president, uh, hours after he was declared um, president, was um, put under house arrest by the military, um, ECOWAS and other world leaders have shown their displeasure towards it. As we know, our president, um, through his spokesperson, says that they are not, you know, they disagree with what has happened and they're asking the military to go back and uh, to the barracks and um, the democratic government should be reinstalled. We also have um, e ECOWAS, we have the um, AU, the UN, um, European Union, all of them made statements just, you know, um, saying that this is not right and that the security forces, the military forces should go back home and then release the president that, so that they can continue with um, the democratically elected government. But also we know that this happened because this is a, a Government that has been in family dynasty for four years, four years. years so his four, father did many years. years, and then he's done another. This was his third. They are waiting. Even though, it's the grandson now that wants to come into power. So even even though they said that the election was mad with all sorts of irregularities and was very obvious, and they still declared him president. Can so, I just say something? Because I wish it was our whole topic, but you see, Europe, all these people that are talking, when these people stay in power. They don't come and talk, yeah. because it's, it it's benefiting. <laughs> when the, the military now come, they will not open their mouths. They say, oh, no, 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 no. Mm. When the people well, are doing well. rubbish, Yadima's family has been there since I was a kid. They're wow. still there. It's now the son that is ruling. You haven't spoken anything because it's benefiting you. OK, we have to move on. Like, it's ah, not, no, it's, no, it's no, not, no. not a hot topic. Hot topic man. Yeah, ah, man. We, let's move what on says? to another story. So the nation was put into mourning yesterday, and the president also uh, president and the governor of Oyo State had uh, warned, mourned the, the death of the designer of Nigeria's national flag, Pa Taiwo Akinwomi. Uh, he's an indigenous of Oyo State and he died at the age of 87 years yesterday. Um, his son had posted on the Facebook page saying that um, the fleeting aspect of life has once more been um, brought to its essence to attention by the passing of his father. But a statement by special advisor on media and publicity, Ajiri Angelali, President Tinubu noted that the national flag designed by the late Pa Akimomi has survived as a legacy that reflects Nigeria's best qualities, including fruitfulness and resilience. Uh, the president 
expresses deepest um, sympathy to the family of Pataiwa Akiomi OFR, who designed the flag in 1958, and uh, following his personal initiative. And same, same goes to the governor of um, Oyo. Akinkumi. Akinkumi, do apologize for that. Akinkumi. Yes, so right. rest in peace. Yes, so rest in peace. Rest in peace. Um, we need to talk about the protests. So there's um, protest over the newly constituted, reconstituted NDDC board. The appointment, of course, was going to cover all the um, NDDC, the Niger Delta Development Commission. The board of trustees has been reconstituted by the president, Bola Tinubu, and they covered all the states that are oil producing states. And there was, there was protest in like three, two major states protested who was nominated. The protests were hinged on the same thing. The two states, Cross River and Undo State, said that the nominees that were appointed were from PDP. They are card carrying PDP members that were appointed. In Cross River, the, from the APC Secretariat, the youth wing walked, APC youth walked all the way to, from the APC Secretariat to the, to the um, government secretariat to explain that Bloods of young, blood of young people within Cross River was spilled by, um, was spilled in fighting for APC to win this election. Hmm. It is wrong for a PDP person to be nominated to enjoy the sweat of APC youth and APC members in Cross River State. More to that is the fact that the person nominated is not from um, the oil producing area of that state. Similar was the protest in Undo State too. The person is a PDP member from an oil, not from, not from the oil producing area of the state. These two nominations, their complaint needs to be reversed and people more suitable who worked for APC that is involved in the structure of APC within this state should be the one to pick. Others were celebrating, River State were celebrating, Delta was celebrating because they felt they got the right nominee to fit into that role, but those two other states. Protested. Okay, moving on now to the punch, Gabon. UN, Commonwealth, others condemn coup, Tenumbu ones of spread. NULGE urges Tinubu to probe local government allocations diversion. Banks fire 110 top executives, others over the 80 billionaire fraud. Vandalized pipelines, marketers predict more fuel queues. NIN registration, FG records 48% of monthly target. Lagos Blue Line Rail begins operation September 4th. Ogun Pastor sets lady on fire during special prayer. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah. VK Des PDP says nobody can expel me and Cameroon Dam FG sets up temporary shelters in state. Who has the Ogun Pastor story? I have the Ogun Pastor story. What happened? A 21 year old lady identified as Shukura Wodumi had, has, was set ablaze by her pastor, Taiwo <coughs> Odebi. He was trying to perform deliverance on her. So he told her to come with perfume, a candle, and eggs. Amazing Grace perfume local eggs and a candle, and then they started to perform the so, deliverance as he just lit the candle like this. <laughs> Fiam, she just exploded. She just... Caught on fire. Yeah, her chest, her oh legs, and her shoulders were burnt. And then... I think they've warned churches they about yes. this thing. This, this candles and perfumes. They yeah, inflammable. Yeah, you know the worst Infl Inflammable, and you know? Yes. They, I think the worst... Um, part of it is that she didn't even pay Help. for her okay. treatment. Oh, wow. She was left to fend for herself. Ah, so, of course. And they should have fire thingies so around, maybe like a, the fire extinguishers mm. uh, around. If they're going to be doing that kind of deliverance. Can you remember one like this? It happened. Circle like yes. this. Yes. had come from Very, our Yes. Mm. Yes, I remember that happened. Remember. Really, really painful. Mm. Yeah. You know? Okay, let's yeah. see. We can take one more story. Okay, for so I have um, this is I have the National Union of Local Government Employees. They are calling on they are calling for the investigation and monitoring of statutory allocations to local government councils. So this is on the back <clears throat> of the petition that has been written by the Ijebu East Local Government Chairperson. We remember he had um, accused or alleged that um, the current governor had diverted over 10 billion naira that was meant for local governments. And so, based on that, the National Union um, Nogi has um, sort of added his voice to it, and they are asking for a lot of things. They said, first of all, that if we look at many investigations that EFCC and ICPC have looked into, uh, many of the governors that have been locked up will realize that uh, a lot of them were in prison because of funds that were meant for local government that they diverted, and that um, we can see that EFCC has continued to do its job, but they are asking the national 
um, assembly to also set up an oversight committee that will monitor and investigate the allocations to local government. It says the federal government is talking about poverty alleviation at the grassroots level. There has to be like a connection with the federal government and the local government so that they can, you know, monitor how, yeah. uh, what happens to the funds, how it's spent, because many times money is allocated, yeah. but where it goes, how it's spent, the impact yeah. of what is not seen. And so they're adding their voice and they're hoping that this is done. But um, some local government persons went to the governor of Ogun State to beg for forgiveness on behalf of their colleague. And uh, the, the um, chairman of local, uh, of the Jabu, he said he was not, he did not, he did not apologize for mm. anything that was these people that went but this was based on a viral mm. video that you know had been passing around so okay we'll see how <clears throat> let's go on a quick break now when we come back and continue with our review stay with us we'll be right back thanks for staying with us we're still reviewing punch well, who has another story should we move on punch okay let's move on now no 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 vandalism ah, sorry i did quickly get this story okay. i'm so so sorry <laughs> so um yesterday we took the story about pipeline vandalism and um, the petrol queues that have been lingering in Lagos and Ogun State um, because of the pipeline vandalism. So the marketers are predicting now that there will be more fuel queues because they haven't refueled those particular stations because there is a consistent vandalism going on. And they are saying there's nothing they can do. That the only, the only fuel station that will be left to be able to sell fuel will be mm -hmm. NNPC retail stores. That they are, they, they, they are the only ones that can assure that there will be no issue with their own um, um, pro ability to load products. He said that they don't even know the quantity that the NNPC themselves would even have in stock as well. Um, they are complaining that nobody, the government hasn't responded to them. They have explained the challenge they are going through. They have explained that their own personal, like this is not the government, this vandalism is not affecting government money. The petrol has been deregul deregulated. The petrol that is being stolen has been paid for by major marketers who and it is in their depot that they are now stealing and vandalizing and stealing this fuel from so they are not restocking their depots and they are saying since the government is not saying anything nmpc is not saying anything nmpc will be the only one to be selling fuel to nigerian citizens i beg government whatever it is that can be done to resolve this issue mm. let us see what we can do to ensure that the filling stations in lagos and Ogusi doesn't get dry and we prevent artificial scarcity okay actually still have a story in punch um, Lagos Blue Line. So the Lagos State mm -hmm. Rail Mass Transit said that it will commence September 4th um, behind schedule, uh, if you recall. It was supposed to start sometime between March and August. Uh, the MD of the Lagos Metropolitan, uh, Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, Mrs. Abimbola Kenya Joe, was saying yesterday that um, it will take effect that the governor will be the first passenger from 9 a.m. on Monday. It will be a, he'll be our first passenger, according to her. She said that they're going to start partially between 6.30 a.m. and 10 a.m. That's the morning peak. And then 4 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. evening peak just for starters until they begin to start getting more uh, demand. The train will, not, will also stop for 90 seconds at each train station. Eventually, it will run 76 trips from 5.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. when it becomes fully operational. And they expect about 150,000 to 175,000 passengers to be on board daily. Um, it's going to cost about 750,000, 750 naira. For a full trip, however, cons considering what the governor has said for 50% discount because of the um, subsidy removal recently, so that will also take effect and to be half price going forward. Um, so by next week, Monday, the rail, the rail, those who have been saying that it was a hey, elephant project, elephant project, you know how Nigerians hey, go on social media, ah, you that have, rail, have, I've been have, on that rail that they said they, they they are starting, you know, Nigerians. I've been on the Monday, road and hopefully yeah. that's busted your bubbles. Okay, let's move on to Vanguard. Global outrage over Ali Bongo's ouster in Gabon coup. NSIA stakeholders to improve cancer treatment in Nigeria. Deploying police to NURTW Secretariat Act of Dictatorship, says LNLC. NYSE Saga rights group Sue FG wants Musawa sacked. Cabinet uh, impasse. Samuelu Obasa Pale as GAC weighs in. <laughs> I dare anyone in PDP to suspend me, says Wiki. And uh, NNP, NNPP crisis. No group individual can remove Kakwanso. Nigeria solar energy potential higher than current consumption, says Ikeja Electric. Okay, which story are we taking? Um, okay, I can take Did you take the Kakwanso story? No, I didn't. 
Oh, okay. Nobody? Okay, I'll take I'll it. I'll take Wiki. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your friend. Uh, <laughs> the, um, the NEC, the NEC have said that nobody can, no individual can remove Kwakwan so as the presidential candidate and as the party leader. He says that um, because uh, there, if you know uh, one faction of the NNPC, is it NN? NNPP? Yeah. NNPP. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have said that they removed Kwakwan. So they're just saying that um, no, nobody can remove him. They addressed journalists yesterday and um, Oh, so okay. I actually watched a Galadima mm -hmm. who was saying that he's, nobody is removing him, he's the uh, leader of the party. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can't imagine. Okay. I, it's just, it's so stinky. All right, another story. Well, we have um, Wiki too here. He was uh, Hurricane Wiki, please say it right. <laughs> Hurricane Wiki. <laughs> he was being hurricane in this <laughs> report. So um, he was on an interview in a TV station and he was asked about, you know, being a minister in an APC led um, administration since he is a PDP member. And he says that see, governance is not about membership of a political party. He says he's an unrepentant member of the PDP. He says that and he also, and he's working, as, he, he's supporting the Tinubu administration because this is a man that means well for the country and has nothing to do with his member. I said, I never hid my intention as a PDP member. I came out to support fairness, equity and justice. I feel at home working for the government of, the pres of President Tinubu is a man that means well for the country. And um, he says, uh, I'm here to support the president who has confidence in me and I owe nobody an apology. Yeah, talking about if we suspend it, he said, how can anybody talk about expelling me? With all due respect, I have not seen that person. Nobody hmm. will do it. So the issue that they will do, it, it does not arise. Who will discipline me? I should be the one calling for the discipline of people who violated the party's constitution on rotation of offices. Okay. So in, a, in that same interview, he spoke yeah. about the fact that um, um, the metro lines will be delivered in 12 it's months. Most. Uh, yeah, yeah. Be sure, is it eight or is it twelve? Where they will? He said, he said eight months. Well, I, yes. I watched it. He, he said there are twelve months. lines already. Okay. He said this is a project the president has personally told him was important to him, and he has applied for the money to be sent. He said that um, I, I, I would like to. I, I want to know that Metro Line can take you down to the airport. It will be done. You know the way there's a there's a language to Hurricane Wiki, mm. and he, he mentioned that he's pledged his determination to deliver the project, that the president has told him to look into it, that FCT is down, and that he's been given the mandate to bring back the city. Okay. Mm. Okay, so development. the apex decision-making body of the APC, that's the Governance Advisory Council in Lagos, have um, had a meeting with the governor of Lagos State, Governor Sonwolu, and the speaker of the House of Assembly, um, Honorable uh, Abasa, concerning the impasse going on right now about the governor's nominees for um, commissioner. Um, they were able to wade into the disputes, resolving it, and according to a reliable source from, from, the, from, from Vanguard, um, saying that they have agreed to review a few others, to retain a few other nominees, but a few new names have been added. So they have been able to come to an agreement. And there was a picture on social media yesterday where we saw all the members of the GAC came together with the governor and the speaker shaking and smiling and laughing. It's politics. They've spoken to... Well, uh, they, how do they call it? They said that like 15... They will, reconciliation. They will, reconciliation is they will, good for us. Uh, maybe 12 people will come back. Yeah, 12 yeah. out of the But seven. five will not. Well, um, well. But somebody who watched it, I didn't watch it, they said when Obasa left, he didn't say goodbye to the governor. Uh -huh. Hey, they started, oh, hey, uh -huh. Nigeria I, I, will not I, kill. I, I, I didn't they, watch it myself. It's what I heard. You no the problem. But I'm already. happy that democracy is playing out in Lagos State. Yes. So when we see that the House rejects so, something... Let me not use the word politics. Let me say democracy. Democracy. Yes, it's supposed to check. There should be checks and balance. Yes. We're supposed to be able to find a compromise that results in growth. Yes, because there's a reason why they rejected certain names. And that reason has been brought to the table, discussed, and then there will be don't know the reason. And I'm happy with the way the governor also handled They are your representatives. So if they know, know, we have asked them, please, so tell us the reason. reason. They say they can't tell us the reason. Mm. But, but they, because they are representing you, you, That's should trust, they tell us the you should trust that their reasons no, no, are no, viable. No, 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 Moving no, on no, to the Nigerian don't Tribune. Don't give me that one. The, the Nigerian I, Tribune. I uh, Gabon Ku. <laughs> uh, rule of law must not perish in Africa, Tinubu says. Let's find a story we've not taken. Conflict, Red Cross records 25,000 persons missing in Northeast. 
Son stabs father to death over 70,000 naira in Ogun. Wow. <clears throat> Lagos Blue Line, uh, Blue Rail Line commences September 4th. Police arrest man who threatened traditionalists in Kwara. An NSIA stakeholders partner to improve cancer treatment in Nigeria. Okay, which story? The, the son. Okay. Go ahead. The son, 38-year-old Matthew, surname with held, stabbed his 100-year-old father. What? Who, he said he went to, he gave his father 70,000 last year, July, to keep for him. When he now went to him for the money, that, uh, his father, uh, Anthony, did not know where the money, could not tell him where the money was. So in his annoyance, he had lost his job. He now stabbed his father to death. He's, he's cooling his heels in the... Uh, I wonder why his name was Michelle, though. Mm -hmm. Well, they, 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 they we held their uh, family name. Yes, okay. to Both of the them. family. Um, so, uh, Alpha Salam Ayodeji, he's the Islamic um, cleric that was declared wanted when he threatened some traditionalists in Ilorin. The police have arrested and paraded him. And um, he... While he was being paraded, you know, he spoke and he said that he appeared sober and apologetic. He said that, um, and, and he pleaded for forgiveness, saying that he did not know that his action was dangerous and capable of causing breach of peace. If you remember, he had gone to a uh, market area and, and had said that where those traditionalists were renting shops, that their rent should be returned to them and, you know, they shouldn't be allowed to carry out their business in that area. And uh, he said that that's what he did caused a breakdown of law and order and so he went about apologizing he says that nobody sent him the commissioner of police did not send him nobody asked him to go to anybody's shop that he did it on his own accord he didn't realize the impact it will have on the peace of um you know the community and he's very sorry let's quickly take this story um we talk about bank fraud we talk about accounts accounts um fraud and just a bit of a bit of context there's a financial report, uh, <clears throat> report on fraud and forgeries in the Nigerian banks, and 110 top bank executives and junior member staff have been sacked for fraud in just the past two years. The figure rose by 175% in 2023. Between 2021, they only sa they sacked about four officials within the year, but in 2023, just the first quarter, they've sacked 11. These are people that have been culpable in fraudulent practices that have happened within the bank. Some of them colluded with POS vendors to defraud the bank. Some of them work in the IT sector. Point is, there are measures being taken place by EFCC to prosecute people that are involved in financial crime within the bank and they are asking the consumer, um, um, co consumer agency, I'll, I'll protection. Get, <clears throat> consumer protection are, are asking the banks to um, educate your staff to understand that they will be prosecuted if they are found in any way culpable in um, committing fraud. This affected Access Bank, GT Bank, FCMB, Wema Bank, um, right. that complained about fraud happening and in conjunction with... During the break, I would just do about one... All right. <laughs> That's all we can take on front page review.